so hello everyone and welcome back to our channel uh, it's been a while since i have uploaded any videos but anyways let's uh, get started with our uh, today's topic so in today's topic we'll be taking a look at intercompany trade and d365 finance and operation we'll be going through all the sets up and configurations and all the processes that are required while doing an intercompany trade so before going into the system let us first see what is a uh, intercompany trade so intercompany as the name suggests it is between uh, between two legal entities uh, like suppose uh, uh, we have uh, let me give you an example so in our example there is nspc and naw2 so in this case nspc is uh, our legal entity which uh, is uh, totally based on production and naw2 is uh, like a retail company so in this case when a trade or a trade is happening between uh, nspc and naw2 it would be uh, called as intercompany trade so basically a sales order would be created in this company and a purchase order would be created in this company so in order to create a sales order in nspc for naw2 uh, we need to have naw2 as a customer in here and uh, in naw2 we need to have a nspc as a vendor in order to create a purchase order so that's the first thing that we'll be taking a look at so without any further delay let's get into uh, let's uh, let's get into the system so let me just change it i hope the screen is available now so as you can see this is uh, nspc and we have another legal entity opened here and uh, this is called as naw2 so nspc would be uh, let me open this customer as this one is selling okay so let me open all customers here yeah here you can see that naw2 is a customer here okay and uh, in naw2 let me open accounts payable and uh, vendors so yeah in here you can see that nspc is a vendor here because uh, here we'll be creating a purchase order and here we'll be creating a sales order like we'll be creating only one uh, like a sales order or a purchase order there uh, that will result in directly creating the opposite uh, document so if sales order is created here then it will automatically create a purchase order there or if a purchase order is created in this legal entity then a sales order would be created automatically in here so that's the basic uh, uh, like basic overview so uh, after creating uh, after creating a customer uh, we need to do some setup uh, under general tab intercompany so in here you can see that this setup needs to be done where we mark the proper vendor and uh, proper vendor account is there as you can see the vendor account here is v002 name nspc so it has been marked completely and we can do the uh, intercompany setup from here as well so under general tab there is intercompany let me open this so yeah here you can see that customer company is there and uh, yeah so this is like basic setup and if you want to go into deep like uh, there are many other setups that uh, that can be done okay uh, based on uh, different uh, scenarios and uh, if you want the price to be edited you can do that and uh, similarly you can see it here as well same settings would be available here purchase value mapping sales order policies is also there okay and okay if i if, if i if i create a purchase order here and uh, so that means a sales order will be automatically created here so do i want that sales order to have a reference number or something with the company so here i can do that or i can give a separate uh, currency code as well so like this you can play with all the setups here but uh, we are going to do a very basic uh, 
uh, intercompany uh, trade so and will uh, maybe in future in some other video will be touching on the advance so let's go on here new w2 here we'll be creating a purchase order so let me click new here and let's select our uh, customer uh, sorry our vendor as nspc okay and here you can see that intercompany has been turned on let me select the warehouse as well okay so this one is the warehouse everything seems correct let me click ok wait for it yeah here you can see that intercompany NAWTU sales order has been created in production company our production company is this so let's open sales order here so here you can see that an awpo 14 so this has been created let me open this and uh, uh, let's enter site and warehouse on the header level mm, let's uh, use this warehouse okay save it go back um no we need to enter lines so let's use this product icp is an intercompany product that i've created for the demonstration quantity would be one unit price would be 100 that's good uh, let me save this okay and let me complete this sales order okay now uh, this is done and let's see here let me refresh in this sales order yeah so here you can see that the same product uh, has appeared here with a quantity of uh, uh, one and unit price of 100 as well you can edit the price as per your requirements but now let's go back to the sales order and post a packing slip we won't be generating packing list and doing all those uh, extra setup we're just going to for a basic look so let's post this yeah this is done and after that yeah let's go and do the invoicing as well for here based on packing slip okay so yeah this has been invoiced okay now it's our turn for purchase order let's go here and first confirm the purchase order receive the product received ordered quantity yep looks good now let's go and do the invoicing part uh, so based on the invoice created here let me show it to you uh, invoice number this vendor invoice number has been appeared here automatically uh, also same happened for uh, uh, product received i forgot to show you that just give me a second i'll show you that first update the match status and post so yeah it's been invoiced let me go into the product received 
and here you can see that we I, I did not enter a product receipt number which is a mandatory in doing a product receipt normally but due to this being a uh, this being a intercompany trade the packing slip number is our product receipt number so that's just easy to define you know so yeah that was uh, basically it for the video so this is a small overview on how we can do a pro uh, intercompany trade and uh, we'll be covering uh, a more advanced function while we uh, where we include a direct delivery and other uh, factors as well but for this video i wanted to keep it short and yeah that was uh, all for this video thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you again in the next video and i'll be i'll try to upload uh, 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 like consistently from now on um, but yeah so yeah thanks for watching again and see you guys in the next video